Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today it's going to be a real quick video. This has got nothing really to do with crypto mining. This is more about creating a paper wallet for cryptocurrency. So all this news around Ledger and the private keys actually being exportable onto the internet from their new key recovery service, which means a lot of people have woken up to the security of Ledger and the security of other things such as hot wallets that are on Binance and on exchanges. Remember, if you don't have your private keys, then they technically aren't your coins. And if your private keys can be exported through, I don't know, the internet and through this recovery key service, then therefore, you know, it's not actually a private key. It's more of a public key and you can technically have your Bitcoin stolen. So today I'm going to show you how to make a paper wallet for cryptocurrency. I know I'm mainly a mining channel, but today I just really want to focus on one of the most secure ways that we can protect against our cryptocurrency being stolen. So what is a paper wallet? Well, you have normally online wallets, which are just Bitcoin core, stuff like this. However, paper wallets are basically just an address and a private key. You generate this wallet, you print it out. And then the only way that you can actually access it is to use private keys on a Bitcoin core service or, you know, something like an Electron wallet. So what you would do is you generate an address on paper. But if you wanted to access that address, you'd have to bring it into a Bitcoin core program. So today I'm going to show you how to do a Bitcoin paper wallet and then I'll tell you basically at the end of the video how to do it the same for any other coin. It's kind of the same process but this one's more streamlined because we have websites like BitAddress that we have here. So this is just a website where you move your cursor around and it will generate a Bitcoin address and a private key for you. So as we can see here we're moving our cursor around and this percentage is going up and it's generating a Bitcoin address as you can see there. This is just to randomize the process and then it gets to 100% and it's going to generate a Bitcoin address here. So this is one that we can receive coins onto. So if we ever want to send Bitcoin to an address, we send it to this address. And then this is the private key. Obviously, I'm not going to be using this address because I'm recording this video. But this is the private key that you would use for a service like Bitcoin Core. If they ask you when you download it to import your wallet, you could import your private key here and therefore it would update your wallet onto that program. So there we have a generated address with a paired private key. So that's pretty simple. You could just take these and you could print it off. However, this bitcoinaddress.org also has a nice paper wallet thing that you can print off here. It says addresses to generate. There's three here. We can actually lower this down to one click generate and then from here all we have to do is print this page. Right here all we have is the Bitcoin address so that's the one that we send to and then we have the private key which is the one that we use to basically open up the wallet on different programs like Bitcoin Core. So that's pretty simple and I'm going to show you just on a piece of paper what it looks like in real life and then I'm just going to go over how we could do it for different coins. So as we can see here we have the paper wallet and we could just have the Bitcoin address at the top here and then the private key here. So simple as all you have to do is center this address at the top. And then if you want to load up onto a Bitcoin core, you type in your private key and it should load all of the Bitcoins that you sent to this address. Now you can use the QR codes on this as well. They work perfectly fine and they are specific to these addresses and private keys. So now we're back onto the computer and here we actually have an Electron Radiant wallet. So Electron wallets are normally used for other coins such as obviously we have Radiant here. I'm a mining channel mainly. So I have coins like Nexa coin, Radiant coin, Dynex coin, all on Electron wallets, but also core wallets work as well. So you can have Radiant core or you could have Bitcoin cash core, something like that. Electron and core wallets both have private keys and public addresses. So I'm assuming that this is going to be very similar to a lot of other wallets because Electron wallets tend to be basically the same wallets just for different coins. So on addresses this is how you get your public key so you can use any of these addresses here and then to view your private key all you click on is wallet private keys and then export WIF plain text. So you enter your password in and then it's going to give you your private keys for each of the addresses that you have on the side here. Now you don't want to share any of this and obviously I've blocked it out so you guys can't see it. But your address is on this side and then the private keys on the other side. So you would export one of these so you just copy that and you'd put it in a notepad. And then copy the private key and put it in a notepad. All you'd have to do then was file 
and print it onto a, preferably a printer that's offline. But if you can't get one offline and you don't have a direct link, online's fine. Normally they don't actually send out information. So one of the main ways that we can protect against this is to use paper wallets. And all you do is once you have your paper wallet is you just shut this down and then you get rid of the program on your computer. So you'd right click and then you delete it off your computer. Therefore, you would delete the wallet off your computer and then when you load it back up, let's say on a different computer, maybe you travel in for a couple years and then you come back onto a different device, you can actually download this Electron Radiant wallet again and you can input your private key which you had on your piece of paper. So remember the private key only works on the native core wallets or Electron wallets. It's not going to work on wallets like Binance, I believe, because those hold different types of coins and you can't export private keys for multiple wallets on there because they are hot wallets and Binance keeps your coins on their books instead of on your wallet. So hopefully this provided some information that is useful to you and you started to secure your crypto on paper wallets. Remember, there are some downsides. Obviously, you could set fire to your wallet and then it could be gone forever. So you could make two or three copies and store them in different places. Just don't forget where they are. And also if somebody gets a hold of that piece of paper, they could steal your money. But it's way better than having a ledger wallet that's connected to the internet that anyone could hack into. So make sure you stay safe out there and keep your coins safe. And remember to like and subscribe if this video helped you.